Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome to Sri Lanka. are here on a three week adventure and right now we're staying in the middle of the jungle. It's amazing. So if you hear any peacocks that sound like this, uh, <laughs> maybe some little bugs flying past the camera or there are motorbikes in the distance, then um, that's what that or is. frogs. Yeah, loads of frogs. Yeah. That's not the point though, because earlier today we went to a cinnamon plantation to find out how cinnamon grows. What is cinnamon? Cinnamon is a spice. You add it to lots of things that you make, like gingerbread has a lot of cinnamon in it. Other cakes, sometimes it gets put into drinks. Um, here in Sri Lanka, cinnamon goes into a lot of the curries uh, that we been very much enjoying. So yeah. yeah, we wanted to find out mm -hmm. how it grows, how it's harvested, and yeah. how it turns into the stuff we use in food. Our journey started this morning when a lovely man called Kingsley, hello Kingsley, hello, good morning, <laughs> picked us up in his tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuks uh, are a really popular way to get around Sri Lanka. It's a three-wheeled, powerful motorbike with a little uh, cabin on the top which you can sit in with your bags, and they're really fun. A beautiful beach in a minute. The route from the hotel to the plantation took us along the beach, which was beautiful because the waves were breaking and we could see surfers out there. Lots of people selling fish as well. And then we turned off into the countryside. We went up past paddy fields, which is where they grow rice. And then we turned up and started working our way up into the plantation. So we were first met by some of the workers who work on the cinnamon plantation and also a lovely gentleman called Rupert who was showing us around. Have a biscuit. Ooh, way to start. <laughs> this is why we go to all this trip. Start with Thank a biscuit. So much. Is, is this a cinnamon biscuit? It is a cinnamon biscuit. Well, Greg's happy. Just starting with, starting with biscuits. Bertie. <laughs> we hopped into the back of a different machine. This is great, but... Proper old school tractor. Apparently yeah. it's got no electronics in it at all. Which is great because it means it can always be fixed. Yes. So that's why they like to use it on the plantation. But we hopped in the back along with Rupert and then some of the guys, they drove us up through the plantation and we began to get a sense of what cinnamon as a plant, a tree, actually looks like. And we were really surprised because we thought that a cinnamon tree would just be one big trunk. Yeah. Like most other trees. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Um, see but okay, so this is not a good example. This but... is pepper, mm -hmm. uh, but it's got one big trunk in the middle. Yes. And we thought cinnamon would be like that, but it's not. So you've got this one central trunk here, which is probably seven years old. And then you get lots of other branches coming off other to stems. the sides at the bottom. They're all ranging from sort of um, five years to you know this is just a few weeks. We should say though that. Actually, in the UK, when we eat cinnamon, we're usually eating a plant called cassia, and a cassia tree is one big trunk. Uh, there are however, different types of cinnamon. Exactly. However, we were finding out about true cinnamon, which is Ceylon cinnamon, which is grown in Sri Lanka. Oh yes, yeah. It's so great being in like a cinnamon grove. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Don't fall. <laughs> no pressure. Don't fall. She said. Whoa, nearly going <laughs> so we saw, as we said, the kind of central trunk and the other stems coming off it. And we also, we saw the seeds. Oh yes, here, yeah. you oh, see yeah. up there? Yeah, like yeah. Little acorns. So do you take the seeds and then yep. plant them? Yeah. yeah. What was lovely to find out was that the seeds are given to some of the workers. The way we do it is that the boys take the seeds home and they grow them in their gardens. Mm. And then when it's time to plant, they bring them all here and I buy them from the boys, nice. so it's another sort of source of income. Well, it's, it's good for us too. It saves, yeah. it saves because it. while they're looking at home, they get looked after properly, you know, lots of TLC. So it's another little bit of business for the workers that we thought was really smart. It means it's, everyone wants the cinnamon trees to grow well. We learnt a word, or a couple of words. Mm -hmm. We learnt the word for cinnamon, for the cinnamon plant, the cinnamon tree, yeah. which was, Maddie of the past? Kurundu! Cinnamon. <laughs> Ceylon cinnamon, the true cinnamon. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> and the small ones yep. that have been grown in the nursery at the workers' homes, yeah. uh, they're called Corundu Pandora. And we saw a bunch of these Corundu Pandoras yeah. ready to be planted. Mm -hmm. So they get planted out 
in kind of nice neat rows with nice neat gaps between them. And then when they get to a certain age, mm -hmm. a few years, mm -hmm. they're ready to be harvested. So they go out in early in the morning, they chop off the stems mm -hmm. uh, and they take them into the peeling hut, which is where we're going now. Yeah. I got Inside the peeling hut, the first thing that happens is one of the workers will take a scraper, a little bit like, like an a, apple peeler, a potato peeler. Like a carrot peeler, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, yeah. So the first thing that happens is that one of the peelers gets this, called a sautu, which is really just like a carrot peeler, mm. and scrapes off the outer bark. And that's really important because it's the inner layer of bark which is where all of the precious cinnamon oil is. That's what gives us the smell. You want to peel off just the outer layer of the carrot but leave everything inside as it is. And if you actually look down onto the uh, onto the stem and there's a dark ring that's the inner layer. The inner layer of bark. We, that's the one we want. Mm -hmm. So that's where the oil is captured. That's where all the goodness is and all the scent from the cinnamon oil. So that's what we want to peel, and the trunk, the heartwood, it won't have any scent at all. That's not going to be needed, but it will be used later for something else. Once the cinnamon stems have been prepared and the outer layer of bark has been stripped away, the stem's then handed over to another worker who is expertly rubbing the stems down with a golden rod. It's actually made of brass, and it's this person's job to bruise, yeah. uh, bruise the stem slightly. Yeah, so the reason he's doing that is he's bruising it so that all those oils mm -hmm. come to the surface. What he does gets even more skillful because when the oils have come to the surface, he takes a small sharp knife mm -hmm. and he scores along the length of the stem yeah. and then he scores round it and then he carefully cuts along it, like peeling off the layer almost. Yeah. It was amazing to see how cleanly he was able to take off that yeah inner layer just with a few quick motions with that knife. Wow. Look at that skill. Whoa. You know yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the, uh, wow. Look at that. how difficult that is to get that off in one piece. Yeah. That's very skillful. That's a professional. <laughs> and the knife is a coquette. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's very subtle. <laughs> and what about, and sorry, last last one? This this one? That's a sautu. 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 Sautua. Sautua. Yes. Ah, sautua. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. But... <laughs> what comes off is this amazing, like, tube. Yeah. It's called a quill. And you can see that it looks damp. It looks wet. And that's because you can see all those essential oils. And if you pick it up and you smell it, mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's yeah. amazing. It really smells of cinnamon. Wow. Isn't that great? Yeah. So we've got a length of quill. Now the next step is to prepare it. So sometimes when the quill is being taken off the heartwood, you get lots of little bits left over. We call these featherings. However, they're really useful because the featherings are then used to stuff the quill until you can sort of roll it up into a perfect tube that is stuffed with all of these featherings. Yeah, because the featherings are still packed full of oil, right? So you yeah. want to use them. Now these stuffed quills need to be a certain length for them to then be able to go and sell this cinnamon. Um, so there's a measuring stick that shows how long it is. These guys always pretty much get it bang on, but they mm -hmm. check it. Perfect. But there's one last stage that has to happen. They have to be dried. In the roof of the peeling hut, there are a couple of racks, and this is where these quills are laid out, a little bit like rope bridges. Um, yeah. But they're left there to completely dry out. And we were actually able to see a fresh quill and compare it to a quill that had been drying for five days. And you see how it's... It's less than half the size. Mm -hmm. It's certainly half the weight. Mm. It's a darker colour. We actually got to try some. We did. Didn't we? We, we tried did. both those two different types of cinnamon. Describe it to us, Mads. Rupert, he grated Cassia a little star. bit of the cassia cinnamon onto my hand. And Smell so that. typical cassia, that's what I that's the stuff that I would put in gingerbread, Christmas, yeah. Christmas taste cakes. Room, taste it. And remember, this is very fresh. So it's quite strong stuff. It didn't smell that strong, but it tasted really sweet. It tasted exactly like Christmas. And then he did the same for the cinnamon that they are processing at the plantation, the Ceylon cinnamon. Smell that. Wow. Yeah, it's got, yeah, so this Ceylon is quite perfumed, I would say, but it's a gentler taste. Yeah, much gentler, much, much more gentler. Wow. 
and yeah, not nearly as strong. And that's it. You've then got yourself a dried quill of cinnamon. What they then do mm -hmm. is they go and sell it. We saw one big bale which weighed about five kilograms. They said mm -hmm. that would be sold for around about sixty dollars. These are obviously big, long cinnamon quills, but if you chop them into little bits, you get cinnamon sticks, and that's what we turn to buy in the shops if it hasn't already been ground down into a powder. So that's the end of what we thought we were going to see, how our cinnamon sticks grown and processed. However, this particular plantation, they don't want anything to go to waste. We've seen how the inner bark is used to make the cinnamon we know and love, mm. but what about the leaves? What about the heartwood? Well, it turns out they also make cinnamon oil from the leaves, cinnamon leaf oil. First things first, they take a load of leaves um, and we actually saw a lot of them that had been collected and lined up on the ground yeah. and they dry out really quickly because it's super hot in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. it's lovely. Uh, and then someone came and like started rolling it up into a bale. He used his body weight to squash the leaves and then kind of rolled it up and then when it got to the end, he could take the strings, knot them together and you've got one massive bale of dried leaves. Earlier on, I took some of the, uh, the fresh leaves that were green and rubbed them in my hands and smelt them and you could smell cinnamon, right? But it wasn't super strong. But if you take some of the dry leaves and crush them in your hands, squash it, crunch it, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're talking. And those are the cinnamon oils that they are about to release in the next step. The huge bales of dry cinnamon leaves are then taken to the cinnamon oil shed. And this is where they are stored until they're ready to be used and turned into cinnamon oil. And this part is a really exciting process. Cool. It starts with the heartwood. Do you remember the center of those cinnamon stems, the bit that wasn't used? Well, that is now used to make a fire. And this is going on inside a roaring great big oven type thing. Yeah, and on top of that great big roaring oven type thing is a big vat of water. So the fire is heating the water up, which turns it from liquid to a gas, steam. The steam comes up out the top, goes down a pipe yep. into another big container. It's like a barrel, isn't it? Like it's like a big a, wooden barrel. Yeah. And what goes in there? Well, this is where all of the dry cinnamon leaves go. About mm. seven bales, apparently, which is quite in impressive. Day, apparently, they climb on top of it, yeah. hold two ropes and, like, stamp down the leaves so they yeah. all fit into that barrel. The steam will then come through and it will start to break the leaves down. And this releases the cinnamon oil that's inside the leaves. That cinnamon oil will start to mix with the steam and then it will all rise together as a gas. And then it goes down another metal tube that's known as a gooseneck because it looks like a gooseneck. No. Yeah, quack. Goose don't quack. quack. Hiss, hiss. <laughs> That's swans. Insert noise of goose here. <laughs> Great. We'll just use yours. <laughs> That tube that's holding all those hot vapors then goes into a big tank and starts spiraling down to the bottom. In the tank is loads of water. And the job of the water is to cool down those hot vapors inside the tube. Because when vapors cool down, it will turn back into a liquid. And that mm -hmm. is what we see running out of the bottom. In sort of like a waterfall cascade of liquid that's coming out of the tube. <laughs> yes, but first it has to go through a very high tech filter system in mm. case there are any leaves. Through it gets careful filtration. Through the filter here. here. <laughs> it's his sock. <laughs> really, really. Clean one, clean one. Quite a noise. <laughs> Certainly not now. <laughs> Reap it's on sock. So what you see is just a clear liquid, but that is water and the essential oils. The oil sinks to the bottom of the containers yeah. because the oil is denser, it's heavier yeah. than the water. Which means when you have your buckets that are full of the water and the oil, you can drain off the water, leaving just the oil at the bottom and mm. you can scoop that out. That couldn't happen when we were there, but you could sort of disturb and mix up the water and the oil a little bit and you could see some of the uh, sort of droplets of cinnamon oil that were floating in and amongst the water. So what do you get? Well, you end up with a bottle that's full of pure cinnamon oil. And if you smell this, <laughs> that is it's strong stuff. That's incredible. That is strong, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And what is that used for? Well, it can be sold to be used in perfumes yeah. or used in beauty products. They've also been running some tests. They tell us that the cinnamon oil is a really good Mosquito repellent. Yeah, they've actually done a test with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and found out the mosquitoes really don't like 
cinnamon oil when mm. it's very very pure yeah. don't go rubbing cinnamon sticks on yourself and <laughs> that, assuming it's going to keep mosquitoes yeah. at bay cinnamon stick not going to work and <laughs> um, so yeah they take the cinnamon oil mix it with a bit of water and that sort of stuff yeah. um, and then they sell that as a mosquito protection <laughs> What we really liked about the experience was that nothing from the cinnamon plant was being wasted. You have the heartwood being used to make fire, you have the inner layer of bark being used to make cinnamon quills. The leaves that you've taken all the oil out of, yeah. you take them out of that big vat, you dry them out and you use them as fuel for the fire as well. Great trip, yeah. really awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, went to find out how cinnamon grows and is harvested uh, to make those cinnamon sticks that we know of and got a little bonus cinnamon oil extraction at the end. So thank you so much to the, the whole team that we met. Yeah. Um, you, were, you were awesome, thank you. And that wraps up our tour of the cinnamon plantation. Loved it. So interesting. Um, we've done a bunch of other how does it grow videos. We've done yes. uh, rice. Yeah, we've also found out how rubber grows from rubber, rubber trees. So check them yep. out on the channel. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy this sort of stuff. Stay curious. See you soon. Bye. Bye.